Well, good morning, friends. I got a little bit done last night, but I had to quit because I couldn't see my marks. I cannot believe how handy and valuable that laser level is. I was able to make this, the measurements on this turn out very precisely. You can see the slow dip here. It's just perfect. I was able to get it just right. I'm so happy about this. The way it turned out, it's looking good. Looking real good. It's just got a slight slope to it, which is what I wanted. So that the rain, you know, I've seen a lot of roofs where the rain is just, the rain water is just flying off the end of the, of the roof. And I want it to just slowly go into a gutter, you know? Anyways, got up at about 6.30 this morning. Uh, I've, I've done my morning routine thing now. And I want to get started on, I want to put up the joist hangers. And now I'm going to start measuring here. And I want to put up the joists. Got plenty of joist hangers. Thank you to everybody who's gotten things off the wish list up there. Thank you so much. Got a clip from yesterday. I went to the post office and the lady was like, yeah, I've got a cart full of stuff for you. And I'm like, oh, crap. <laughs> so here's the clip. Well, folks, would you look at that whole cart? full of packages <laughs> my 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 and then yeah i came home and started in on this it's turning out great all right friends i got everything measured i've got one joist hanger up there with the screw halfway out because i want to push it in after the two by four is up there i sawed the ends here and then i chiseled out the middle I should probably chisel that out a little bit more. Yeah, I'm gonna about to go up there and put it in place, see what happens. All right, this should be fun. Good times, good times. Get it up in the joist hanger like that. Okay. Sometimes it's tough to do this. Just one person. I want that to drop right in the joist hanger like that. Wonderful. And that's, that notch is perfect. That's awesome. Hey, cool. Go on up here. I've got two two by sixes tied together here, creating a beam. And I've got my notch right there. And you'll notice that the tops of these are level with each other, flush with each other. So happy about that. I could actually lower the joist hanger just a tad bit on the other side. That's why I didn't screw it all the way down. But I'm gonna put another joist hanger underneath this and possibly on that side as well. Look at this view from up here, huh? Isn't that something? That is beautiful. It's a real nice day, a real good breeze. Now I actually appreciate the breeze. <clears throat> Where before I didn't like them because it was bad for the quality of the video. I'm going to secure this and then I'm going to keep going all the way across. All right, so yeah, the more I think about it, I really want a joist hanger underneath that. So I'm going to have to cut and bend the joist hanger to get it to work properly.
I got to bring my hammer up here, of course, but I want to show you the idea here. I cut this side here. What I'm going to do is pound this side down. Well, alrighty then. I got it done. I got her done. That'll work. All right, friends. Well, I got all the joists up. Really happy about that. The job went nice and smooth. I'm just now getting a break from the sun with some clouds and the wind pick, really picked up. But you can tell some of these boards are as crooked as a politician. I was really careful when I was picking them out. They, seem, they all seem pretty straight, but I think they warped while they're sitting out in the sun a little bit. But I'm real happy with it regardless. Did what I could. As you can tell, I doubled up here in the middle on the two by fours. This is the direct middle <clears throat> to help bear some of the weight. And yeah, I think this is gonna hold up really well. It's gonna be great. And one of the most important parts is I can still stand in my door right here and see the view out there. The rain will come down nice and gentle, fall into a gutter, get filtered, and then uh, fill up a cistern. Um, I need to get a hundred foot hose to go down to the garden and a few other things, but it's coming along and I'm really happy about that. Super happy. Things are happening. I just recently got a bunch of flies around here. So I'm thinking I've got some dead mice in my, in my buckets. Today's been a really good day. Good temperature, but it was a, it was a little hot. I gotta admit, um, I thought about taking all my clothes off, but then I just have to put them up back on to make a video. Cause I don't want to, you know, I don't want to make the ladies get all riled up. <laughs> Woo! All right. Well, I got a whole bunch of cleanup to do and then editing and a uh, bunch of stuff. The day's not over. So I just want to let everybody know that I appreciate each and every one of you. And uh, thank you for watching. If you're not subscribed, please do so. The biggest thing, though, is please hit that thumbs up button for the video. All glory to God above, of course. That's about all I got for you all today. I got so many screws. I'm so thankful. <laughs> I didn't have to cut any corners at all or save any screws whatsoever. This isn't all I've got. I've got a whole bunch in the vehicle as well. Um, thank you, folks, for checking out the wish list and uh, getting stuff. I've got a link to the wish list below, but uh, I got more than enough joist anchors. <laughs> Just boxes of them, but that'll be, all this will be excellent for, for future projects, you know? So, golly, just thankful we're out of winter. I think I know what the problem with the diesel heater is. It's the stretch from the, it's the fuel line stretch from the pump to the diesel heater. It can't be from the container to the pump because when I pulled that off, there was diesel dumping all over me. I had to wash my jacket <laughs> when I went to do laundry the other day. So yeah, that it's that's the only thing that's left. But you know, in the end, I'm happy that I've replaced all that stuff because stuff ages, you know. And I don't want to discourage anybody from getting diesel heaters. I, there's a few folks that said, uh, seeing, seeing all those problems you're having with diesel heaters makes me not want to get one. But I tell you, folks, I've tried a bunch of the different propane heaters. Uh, it's just not a viable option. They put off tons of 
of uh, carbon monoxide. And just because it's not in hurting you, if you've got animals, they've got smaller bodies. You got to remember that. So the carbon monoxide builds up in their bodies quicker. <clears throat> and they're not always in the same spot all night. When, when I get a dog, I, I definitely wouldn't have, I had a wave three and, and all these different things. Some people open a vent and stuff like that, but it's just, when it gets real cold out, I don't know, folks. I, I don't, <clears throat> I don't like them and that's okay. And if you do like them, that's okay too. But that is my opinion of 10 years on the road. I've tried pretty much everything out there and I had heard about diesel heaters for years ahead of time and I just kind of ignored it and then I tried it and I loved it. So, so anyways, the next thing I got to do is I got to get uh, 12 10 foot purlins, uh, one by three purlins for the top there. And then I'll be able to start screwing the roof down. I got to get one more panel of that too. And that's like 50 bucks. <laughs> For, for one panel, <clears throat> it makes me think about the people that I hear on on uh, on YouTube all the time trying to promote um, investing in gold and, and stuff like that. And while I think that's you know gold has been going up, but I also think <clears throat> if the dollar's worth less, are you you know because gold's over three gold's about three thousand what twenty dollars now. And it's predicted to be 3,100 uh, at the end of the month. <clears throat> In reality, though, this is just my opinion, and I'm not, I'm no expert, but I, I just like to look at things logically. If, the, okay, let's go back uh, five years, you know, or, or however many years when uh, gold was at a, at a thousand. Um, well, was the dollar also stronger at a thousand? So I guess with gold investment, you're, what you're able to do is kind of defeat inflation, but make money on it. I don't know about that. I don't know if gold, if gold goes up, that just means to me that the dollar's worth less, that your buying power is worth less. And I folks, I could be totally wrong. And I'm sure there's people that know much more about it than I do, but just if it's worth over $3,000 now, but I look at the buying power, I can't even, now when I fill up a cart of groceries, it's $400 instead of two or a hundred and, it was 180 or 200 bucks uh, back in 2020. Now it's 400 almost. I mean, <laughs> your gold is worth more, but, but it's worth more dollars. And that's because of adjustments in my opinion. Anyways, folks, I'm doing the Minnesota goodbye again. I'm going to take a break here and then I'm going to clean up and then I got many other things to do. So folks, again, thank you for watching. Don't forget that thumbs up button, please, for the love of everything that stays. <laughs> Later.